Yeah, I'm sure darn happy I put, well, this map up. Um, well, all the maps, but oh, on a side note, look at this. How they spelled uh, Atlantic Ocean. I think that's pretty weird. Um, anyways, so I'm tr as you know, I'm trying to tie in um, my mini game with the Grand Campaign. So I'm trying to figure out what was going on historically with everything else. Um, starting to read up on the politicians, who is making decisions. Um, and I'm not counting Russia out. There's no way in hell I'm doing that. Um, I think what, what's going to end up happening is, um, they'll take a look at their position, secure it, go through the winter and, you know, regroup for the spring. Uh, they may have to take a couple of, uh, a little bit more of a beating, but I'm not counting them out. However, like I've said before, I think some of the politicians or whoever are, you know, there's some people are going to go, okay, there's a possibility. And as well, it things are not going as good as planned. And there's a bunch of neutral nations here. So what does that mean? I think right now, I think there's five here left because Montenegro from the get-go was helping out Serbia. So they're, they're not there. So sorry, um, this is the way I'm going to do it. What I want to do is, um, if anybody wants to, so hopefully like Charles Latora, Meandering Mike, I'm hoping anyway. So I'm, but I'm sorry, Meandering Mike, you're not getting uh, Montenegro because they're no longer neutral the way I'm looking at it. So I just want to look at neutrals and basically just pretend you're the politicians and try to look at it from their perspective. Uh, what's best for your nation? And I'm going to present, I'll just, as we go along, and you can take a look at what's going on. You can, and you have three options every time I come towards you. You guys can talk amongst yourselves and say, you know, maybe, hey, Greece, uh, who's ever Greece and Bulgaria, how about we, you know, connect the dots together and make sure that, you know, I'm just saying, whatever, you can do whatever. Um, and I'll take it from there. Um, and I'll present you some enticing offers. And... You have three options. You can remain neutral, join the Entente, or um, join the Central Powers. I'm going to certainly give um, the first right of refusal, or whatever the heck you want to call it, to uh, Italy um, for Charles Latora. That's for bloody sure. So that means, meandering Mike, you can get Romania, Bulgaria, Greece, or Albania. Take your pick. Um <clears throat> Well, yeah, I found out actually once that Bulgaria did uh, join the Central Power side, they were so focused on obviously hammering Serbia and then it like completely opened this massive rail line all the way. Oh, my God. Eh? All the stuff that you start to see, start to see. And that's why I was starting to look at Italy. And it's like, you know what? Italy is like massively important. Do you honestly think France would have enjoyed having another flip in front there? While they're dealing with Germany and whatnot. So this is interesting. So imagine if right now things, certain people are going, you know what? Things aren't looking so good for Russia, which means things may not be looking so good for the Entente, which means Italy may remain like really want to remain neutral or, you know, slightly go towards central powers. I would assume just remain neutral. However, what, what enticing bits could France give them? Well, we already you know they've, you know, you can always give things you don't own. Uh, so, you know, they've given away like huge chunks of Austria-Hungary. But maybe they could give uh, uh, a bit of uh, French Tunisia uh, to Italy. I also don't know if that little island really close there is part of Italy or is it part of that? Is it French Corsica? I think that is or I'll have to look it up. Um, so I'm starting to role play in my, oops, sorry, in my mind, uh, things such as, you know, like maybe I'm just saying they're just sending out feelers. Um, maybe like it's some weird ball, you know what I mean? Where they're sipping champagne and diplomats are yapping to each other. And maybe, um, one guy's talking to some French diplomat, you know, well, Jacques, I heard, you know, you've got some problems with some rebels and, you know, near Tunis or whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Well, you know, just saying a bit of alcohol and, you know, someone says this, that or the other thing. And then they're like, oh, you know what? Actually, I think we could actually France doesn't seem to really want to commit. Uh, they've got bigger issues to deal with. There is some crap going on in French Tunisia. Maybe we could swing them, you know, uh, give it to them. I don't know. 
But then on the flip side, you're thinking, well, if we are actually winning, for example, Austria-Hungary, maybe they certainly do not want to give any of their territory um, up here to, uh, to Italy, which uh, was initially offered, I do believe, and uh, the central power, uh, you know, by the central powers of Italy and Austria-Hungary said, what the F are you out of your mind? And imagine this, or they were reluctant or hesitant or whatever. Um, and this was after the fact that Austria-Hungary were um, getting the founded out of them. So I'm thinking, if that's the case about them being reluctant after they're not doing too good against Russia, what the hell? Um, you know, it's just like, do you think they would obviously want to give up any of their territory if they're doing well against Russia in my little universe? That type of stuff is to start um, just enjoying thinking about... Um, and that's going to be a, a bazillion other tiddly bits, but that's where my mind wants to go. And then we can go from there. Oh my God. And I was also reading um, a little bit on Bulgaria. Um, they supposedly seem to be a little bit different from, uh, this is from Crowns in the Gutter. Yes. Uh, page 127, no, 167 maybe. Um Anyways, it's a little insert off to the left-hand side uh, about the Bulgarian army. And supposedly they were different than many other nations in that they um, increased the sizes of their uh, divisions rather than making more of them. And they actually had one in 1917, I think, 30,000 were uh, in that division, which uh, some people said, you know, were like essentially the size of a corps for other armies, so... I wonder what the logistics for that. They were talking about like some of them uh, had, um, they went from 24 to 40 regiments or something like that. Um, or uh, anyways, I can't, like I said, these are things that are starting to like, not, you know what I mean? I, um, I'm getting so many facts in my head. I, I need to like, it. they've got to like, I don't know, settle or whatever. So I don't know if it's companies or uh, regiments, but um Something crazy like that, but uh, it's just like, oh, so that'll be interesting to see. Like, how did, how does, how is that represented uh, in a game? You know, those crazy divisions. Um, is it represented that way in Dervelt Krieg or whatever? I don't know. And what does that mean for logistics and step reduction or whatever, like those things? Like, how do you do reduce? Oh, cool. Um, and yes, that was the one for their, uh, that was the one for the Macedonian uh, front bit um so yeah mm. <laughs> i shouldn't point because i don't know anything uh so that's that so uh, anyways i'm going to give uh, charles latour a first right of refusal and think about italy mind you i can just say one thing uh based on last uh, week's uh live stream holy f i've got um somebody who's like mr reference dude um, Charles Latour is turning into like, oh, by the way, did you know this about this sub? Uh, you know, uh, unrestricted, uh, submarine warfare started at this date on and on and flipping on. I'm like, yes, keep it going, please. So yeah, I love that crap. That's just uh, my crap. I love it. I love it. I love it. Anyway, so that's it. Um, yeah, I'm going to send, uh, Zoe a video and whatnot. She wanted to talk about, um, what's been going on, what I'm going to be doing this weekend, which is. I'm just going to be talking about this game and talking about whatever the hell you guys want to talk about. That's about it, really. Nothing scripted, nothing going on that way at all. Hopefully just, yeah, that's it. Okay, see ya.